Good morning, Raja Scholars and Champions. It's Tuesday morning, October 13th, with our morning announcements, and we've got a lot happening today, so let's get rolling. First, we want to say a happy birthday shout out to the following friends Catherine Escalante Gomez, Benjamin Flores, Aldo Perez, James Fernandez, Liliana Fuentes Patalayon, Carlos Lavario, Julissa Calderon, Brianna Fabian, Natalie Fabian, Jeremiah Ross, and Maria Viafane Torres. We hope you have a festive, fun, fantastic, fabulous celebration of your special day. And Raja that, thank you again for spreading that Raja pride and school spirit. This week we have another opportunity for you to do that. And I didn't know this yesterday or I would have shared it sooner because we had a college kickoff spirit week for the whole district. And this week, we do our College and Career Day kickoff on Wednesday, so the whole district's celebrating. Yesterday was wearing your comfiest outfit or pajama day while learning called Dress to De-Stress, and I didn't know that. So today is My Future is Bright, so wear your brightest neon colors and share your future goals on social media. For Wednesday, wear your favorite college shirt or dress as your, um, as your future career. So we want to encourage you to participate. There's something happening for each and every day, and we now have these posted on our social media. And don't forget, as we get ready for our special accreditation visit that's coming, I want to just remind us every day this week of the things that are most important, the values we have at Indio High School to help you be successful. Today, I want to remind you about what it means to be honorable, that innovative, honorable scholar. When we talk about our school learning objectives, there are three of them under the H on the poster that you would see in your classroom. And to be an honorable Raja means that you are making good choices that have a positive impact on yourself, on your community, and on the environment that we're in. The second thing we would do is that we incorporate pride, positivity, respect, integrity, determination, and excellence. We incorporate that as a driving force in all the things we do as an individual, as a student, and as a global citizen. And last but not least, we will demonstrate perseverance and grit. To be honorable and do that means we don't give up. We don't quit when it's hard. We don't give up when we don't learn something the first time or when it's difficult or when we make a mistake, but we keep going because we are determined we're going to get it. We're going to learn it. We're going to do it. We're going to overcome. We're going to make it. And so I want to encourage you. Remember, those are important things for you to think about when we talk about what it means to really be a Raja. There are 61 years worth of Rajas that have come before you, and that's what they feel is the most important thing for you to know. And you're a part of that Raja family now. So we want you to have that same Raja honor. A couple of events. Don't forget our math club is meeting at lunch on Thursday for the first time. They have a Google Classroom and a Remind account and an Instagram. You see all of those here on the screen. You can email Ms. Torres for more information and make sure you're a part. Now you say, well, Mr. Lawson, the slides go really fast. How can I see that Google code? Go on to our webpage and at the bottom, you can rewatch the announcements there or at the top, you can click on the red button that says daily broadcast. And when you get to this side, this part of the broadcast, you just pause the broadcast and you can write the code down. And also today at lunch, our Interact uh, Club meets Today, they have a Google Classroom and a Remind account as well. They've been meeting every week, and we invite you to be a part. And as Madam Sung said yesterday, order in the court. Order in the court if you're interested in uh, developing your public speaking and critical thinking skills, the art of performing an art expressive, persuasive argument, then join the mock trial team. You'll definitely become good at arguing and debating. They need a bailiff, court clerk, witness, attorneys, a defendant and a victim. If you'll come out tonight and tomorrow, they have uh, mock trial editions on Zoom at six o'clock. You can join the Google Classroom for mock trial. This time I put the code on the slide above my uh, picture here. You can join them. All information regarding auditions and the competition can be found in the mock trial Google Classroom. And we also want to remind you that we have a couple of fundraisers going on. The first one is the sophomore class are hosting a fundraiser, a Krispy Kreme uh, fundraiser. A digital dozen is $10, and to order, you just go to bit.ly at IHS 23 dozens. Uh, you'll see, oh, I'm covering up the, there it is. You'll see there's the order, the uh, 
website for you to be able to, to place your order. And on Friday at 12.50, there will be a donut mukbang live stream on the broadcasting channel. What does that mean? It's a donut eatathon. Uh, where sophomore class representatives will all be trying their best to finish one dozen donuts before the end of lunch on Friday. I'd love to join you, but I am on a diet. Ugh. We will be live streaming this on KIHS, the YouTube broadcast channel at 12.50. And if you want to join them, you can order your dozen, pick them up Friday from the local Krispy Kreme, and have lots of fun. Also, the senior class is having a special Panda Express fundraiser. So save the date on this coming Friday, all day long, all evening long. The senior class is raising funds for their virtual activities and hopefully soon in-person activities. Show the flyer um, from your cell phone and 20% of the proceeds will go to our senior class. Share it with your family and friends and help out our Raja seniors. Don't forget advanced placement students. Make sure you get those advanced placement exam fees paid before the end of the month. Important. And all of our seniors, you got this information in your MyDS account. It's time to order those cap and gowns. Remember, we will be renting those the really nice ones for graduation at the end of the year. So if you did not pick up your packet, Jostens will be mailing those packets to your home. Uh, the district is paying for the rental cap and gown that you'll be wearing this spring, but you still need to place your order. They will ask you on their form uh, for height and um, for your height and weight so they can get the right cap and gown size for you. And that way you'll be wearing the right size. Um, the ordering week is October 18th to 25th. You can continue after the 25th, but if you do, you're not eligible for the giveaway. And at, whoop, as you can see, they are doing a special class jewelry giveaway. Some lucky student is going to be receiving a class ring. It's really cool. I have mine. I wear mine all the time still. So I um, want you to be able to be a part of that. You'll get a link for a video also in the email that gives you directions how to place your order. And then if you want to buy any other senior apparel, all of that will be there. Any questions you would want to um, email our representative at Jostens at luna.office at jostens.com. Again, if I'm going too fast, go to the web page, click on the daily broadcast, and when you get to this slide, hit pause and you can get those addresses. Seniors, don't forget to call and schedule and confirm your appointment for senior portraits. A couple of you emailed me and said their slots were full and you were afraid you wouldn't make it in the yearbook. I have already emailed Miss Hadegi, who is our yearbook advisor. She's already in touch with Life Touch to find out if there is any possibility of a deadline extension. I don't know the answer to that, but she's trying really hard to work on that for you. And now our joke of the day. What happened to the plant that was placed in math class. It grew square roots. Get it? Square root. Courtesy clap, courtesy clap. And our final thought for the day. Progress is impossible without change. And those who cannot change their minds cannot change anything. I shared that once before and I share it again today because I want you to make to really understand how important it is that for us to make changes, we have to be open-minded and hear all the different viewpoints, all the different perspectives, and understand all the parts that happen in a decision or in a plan. And sometimes when we're making plans for the future, we have to change our plans a little bit because things happen like the pandemic did. So sometimes we have to alter and adjust and figure out a new way to do something. We still want to arrive at our destination or to achieve our goal. And sometimes right in the middle of our progress, we have to make changes in order to make that still happen. We don't give up. We just alter our course. Now with that, be kind to one another. Stay classy, Indio. We'll see you tomorrow.